Okay, here we are another day working on the box fan. We did have a heavy rain all day yesterday and through the night. The window did not leak, so feeling good about that. So today's project, we're gonna move on uh, while this paneling is off. I'm gonna be adding some one by four boards horizontally between my vertical one by twos. As a little bit of support, once I have the paneling on, those boards will be behind there so I can screw into for um, shelving and uh, little cabinets and such. So I'm gonna have to sit and kind of map out where I think I'm gonna be mounting stuff. I definitely gonna have a spice rack or two above the stove, so there'll be a board here, maybe another shelf above the window, so I'll put one there as well. And uh, yeah, just kind of try to strategically place them based on where I think I'm going to be attaching things. I will be having a big shelf going all across the front here, so I'll be putting one or two going horizontally there, wrapping around to the side, and uh, such. So I'm just going to kind of plan out where I think I'm going to be attaching stuff, place those boards accordingly, and then when the paneling's up, I'll have something to bite into. That is the plan, so let's get busy. Enough talking about it. Okay, so here's how we're coming along. I'm getting those uh, one by four boards horizontally mounted there. Probably going to do a cabinet over my desk area. This is going to be my work desk for editing videos and office work and such. And I believe above the desk I'm going to try to build a cabinet that will be overhead. And then against the wall I'll probably have some other little, you know, pocket mini shelves there. And I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do. I guess the desk is just going to end. And then I'll have this kind of dead space. I want to leave the electrical all easily accessible. So I'll have the inverter and all the components mounted against this wall. And then over the battery box, I'm just going to leave an open space. So any maintenance um, may come up with something, some sort of protective build a box out a little bit so I can slide down a sheet, although it needs to be ventilated. So I'm just going to kind of go with that as I build, see what I come up with. But this is going to be dedicated to electrical up in this front corner. Oh yeah, sneak peek at the battery bank there. Where are you going? Checking out the van? Okay, so today we are working on making some custom little racks, spice racks, if you will, uh, for the van for above my kitchen. So we did a little prototype. This is kind of what we've come up with here. Uh, we think we're going to go a little bit, uh, not quite so deep, so it's perfect for the variety of stuff that I usually use. And then we may do another one that's more like this depth here, just for cans. So we are um, getting these boards here out of a 2x4. I have an excess of 2x4s, so we're ripping those down to these half inch boards. And uh, we think we're going to go with this. And to get these 2x4s uh, to go through this table saw, it has a, it's maxed out and we can't cut all the way through. So we're taking and just cutting a little bit of the end off, which uh, you can see over here gives us this nice little thin board that we're going to kind of use as the face for the spice rack. As you can see here, that's what that is. So we're going to see if we can pump a couple of these out here. All right, so this is going to be our more shallow one here for stuff like this, spice jars, hot sauce bottles. So we're going with that depth there. And is that correct? Yeah. So we need to come up with our end length for our board at the end, which looks like right about three inches. Cut two of these off for our ends. Yeah, that's the way to go right there, that squeeze bottle. Yeah, that's what I said, and then you get ruined, you can never go back. Okay, so for our face here, we're going to use this little strip, which was a byproduct of uh, 
ripping down those two by fours and to get it nice and even. Of course, these are a little bowed, probably not the best. And just use these as spacers. Get a little glue on there and tack that in. You're good to go. Looks good. And there it is. There's our spice rack there. It's a long one. It's 28 inches long, but I wanted it to go the full uh, width of my countertop. I was thinking of doing it in two or even putting a center block here for a little support on our front piece there, but I think it's going to be fine. It's just going to be spices and some hot sauces, so it should be able to support that fine. I'll get some polyurethane on there, and uh, we'll be good to go. I'll just be able to kind of screw this. I've got a backing board uh, on the wall of the uh, van under the window, so I'll just go screw right into that, maybe three screws along the back, and that should be all good. Okay, we are long overdue for a little update from the van build here. Uh, I've just really been hustling, trying to take advantage of all my time here, um, having a space to build. So, slacking on the filming a little bit, but we're going to show you where we're at. I now have the paneling back up. What I did is I placed a bunch of 1x4s at hopefully strategic places behind the paneling. And Kelly was kind enough and... Um, detailed enough to make a chart so now that the paneling is up I know where all of those studs are. So she's got all the, the distance from the top there down to where the stud would be and um, that should really really help when it comes to attaching things to the wall. So what I've got here is the bed with a bunch of junk on it but I went in with some walls on either end of the bed Another one on the back, and they're coming out about 16 inches, uh, approximately a little less than half the width of the bed. And they are attached firmly to the frame of the bed here, and right now they're free floating up here, but I'm going to have a shelf going all the way across, L bracketed to the wall in those studs I have behind there, and of course bracketed here, and that should be good enough support. That's going to be mostly clothes and lighter items on that shelf. Okay, so we got our top shelf done. It is all L bracketed in. Got L brackets, some heavy duty ones in the center there and some smaller ones on the corner because they're tying in with the wall here for extra support. We've got this front face screwed in from the side as well as an L bracket underneath there. And then the wall is L bracketed in the center there to a stud in the wall and then of course secured to the end of the bed. So these are pretty sturdy. This is just going to be clothing stored up here, so uh, it's not going to be very heavy. There's a slight amount of flex on the front of this, but adding this 1x2 has helped with the half inch, not wanting to flex. Same on this corner here, and then an L bracket on that wall, and then of course secured to the end of the bed there. So that's going to be it. Need to leave these walls pretty clear here. This is the part of the bed where I'm going to be lifting up the most. So I need to have this wall clear so that can lift up and I can access what's underneath. But I'll still have some room up above for some maybe some little shelves. And I'll probably have a shelf going underneath the window there just to store things in uh, when I'm sleeping at night, cell phone, keys and such. So that is that. We're going to call that project done. It's time to move on to the next. Alright, so the next project will be making my little desk. I've got the desk top cut already out of some nice three quarter inch plywood. Getting some shellac on that. We'll show you that. Battery box is done. I've got my 400 amp hour Battleborn batteries. Lithium battery bank there. And then my components we've uh, test fitted are all going to fit on this wall, but I'm waiting on some cable and lugs. I'm going to have to make my custom cables to get all that stuff hooked up. So that's going to be put off for a couple days. In the meantime, I'm going to start working on my desk, which is going to be a slightly lower height here, coming off my kitchen counter and going all the way over to the battery box. My fridge is going to be stored under here. We'll do a little slide out for the fridge and uh, just going to work on getting the framing going now. Okay, so I'm making some progress on my desk. I was able to get the frame set up here. I'm just using uh, two by two lumber. And again, using the uh, pocket holes to join them with wood glue. Stuff goes together pretty easy like this. Just get the jig set up and start cutting your lengths and it's just uh, pieces together real nice. So this is feeling pretty sturdy. I've got a brace going in the back here and we'll probably do a couple cut cross braces here as well. 
on the side and then I'll show you the tabletop. I put some shellac on a three quarter inch piece of plywood and it turned out real nice. This is the desktop here. I think it turned out nice. It's like an amber colored shellac. Really like how the end grain looks on the plywood. It reminds me of a skateboard. And we got it three coats sanded in between each coat so it is nice and smooth. I think that's gonna work out great. Let's test fit it in the van. All right, so there it is. It fits in there nice and snug. Got a little bit of wiggle room to work with, but I think I'm gonna have the kitchen and the desk buttered up against each other. I didn't wanna make it one piece of furniture. I wanted it kind of modular in case I ever have to pull this stuff out. Oh, Spreckles is back. She wants to give her a CAT scan here. So I've got the uh, tabletop in my hand here. Put that on top. Let's see what we're looking like. Hey. That's nice. I like that. I've kind of got a combination of wood grain colors going with my stain, which I, that's what I wanted. I didn't want everything to be all the same stain color. So I've got the lighter shades, contrast against just the light polyurethane against this. And then, uh, you know, same with the walls on the bed. So I am happy with that. It's coming together. I still haven't picked what I'm going to use for a chair for at my office. I was thinking today that I could build something custom like a box that I could actually store stuff in and make a custom cushion for it. But we'll see. One step at a time. Alright, so we are working on the desk. I've decided that I'm going to add some drawers now. I was thinking I'd do that in the future, but we've got the materials, we've got the tools, so we're going to go ahead and get it done. I've got a three and a half inch opening here that I'm going to have two drawers side by side in. I'm not going to use metal slides. I'm just going to do like a utility shop drawer and uh, put a couple boards with a notch and it's just going to run on that track. So we're getting everything cut to fit and get these boards installed here and uh, start building some drawers. Okay, so we got our drawer prototype built here. It's gonna work like that. Got a notch in the backboard there and it's a little high so it won't push in any further. And rides on the bottom rail and the notch goes through that board. So we're gonna put a skin on the bottom and uh, we'll be using of course the face board for the front of the drawer. So we kinda had to put these notches to be able to get it in and out. So we'll flip this upside down, get my skin on the bottom, nail gun that in, glue it real good, and we'll be on our way to having drawers. Long Branch is two towns north of Asbury Park where Springsteen made famous. Yeah. yeah. New description. So this is the finished result on the desk, pretty much finished. I may do some other small detail stuff to it, but uh, really happy with the tabletop. That's just three quarter inch plywood that's sanded and shellacked. And then of course the drawers were, I was not expecting to get, to get these done, but I'm super happy we did. Uh, no actual drawer slides. We're just kind of doing the, well, we can peek in there. Show you the end result, that's not screwed down yet. So we just had this board on top. We notched the back there so that it rides along that to keep it straight. Catches it there at the end. Just went with some thin paneling for the drawer face to try to keep things light. And really happy with it. I like the contrast of colors. And I like the fact that we got two smaller drawers rather than just one big drawer. That'll be easier in a small space in the van there. And then on one side here, I went ahead and skinned it. I was thinking of doing the back too, but the gas filler um, is right in the back of it. So I'm going to leave it open. And then this is going to be buttered up against the kitchen. So that I'll have the skin from the kitchen to kind of section it off there. And that is that.